Hey guys, happy Saturday. I hope that this video finds you in good spirits. So as you may have already seen, we are shifting the format of our class into an online one. So with that being said, uh, I just want to take a moment to explain the uh, organizational structure and, and how it's going to go. So every week I'm going to publish a module. So what a module is, is uh, only the the string of uh, things that you need to know for that week uh, everything from notes to, uh, you know wh whatever it is to assignment links to uh, discussions like whatever is in store for that given week uh, it's your responsibility to uh, finish everything that's that's here in the in the module and uh, typically I'm, I'm going to include videos to to supplement the modules if, if there's something that I need to inform you of or any uh, anything that pertains to like a lesson or, or anything like that that pertains to the module so I'll uh, make sure to include videos with those um, as you're seeing now so essentially uh, every the way I conceptualize it is that uh, I consider okay well what week are we in and then that's what I call the module so we're in week four so this is module four and as you can see here, we have uh, the things that we have to do. So March 13 by 11.59 p.m. is the uh, feedback and, and, and comments and review that you're providing for your three classmates. And that's by 11.59 p.m. tonight. Same thing goes for the current event one. Uh, more, more info uh, on uh, how to actually do it and, and things like that is in here. Um, so yeah, that's let's see. Uh, same with the gra three grammar worksheets. There's three of them due. Boom, boom, boom. And yeah, okay. So and I'm gonna create this video uh, a bit later for the uh, intertextuality lesson. So uh, be on the lookout for that as well. Now, as you can see, the uh, accompanying homework is uh, not till March 28. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, um, please uh, feel free to to shout out. <laughs> Uh, with your question so that's essentially it it's just every given week there's a module and uh, another thing too so we, from what I understand from what my dean told me is that uh, there's going to be a time where they're going to uh, uh, not allow people to come to the campus so because of that I know that we have been doing composition books and I actually asked my dean um, if it would be possible to to have you guys drop them off in my mailbox but uh, she said that because you know they're going to be shutting down and not allowing people not allowing people in so what we're going to do is um we're going to have our composition book um, digitally here here through canvas and uh, i'm going to like when days we have quick rides or daily final reflections or anything like that i'm going to uh, integrate it here into canvas um, which i think we're going to have a quick ride uh, for this module i'm just working on it for now but um that's the main thing. I, I, I just want to explain the, uh, the logistics. It's just at your home page, you're always going to see the uh, most uh, recent module. So, uh, I mean, like, look, like next week is week five, so you'll see that it's called uh, module five. But, um, you yeah, know, this, uh, like, uh, if the deadline for an assignment has passed, then it'll be grayed out from what I recall. So, uh, as long as you're doing the most current module, then you'll be good. So that's that's how we're doing it. Um, and, you know, same, you'll notice just, uh, it's the same deadlines, just uh, just follow with the deadlines and, and essentially always make it a point to check when things are due. Uh, if you'll recall, you can also look at the calendar. So let's go to student view. And if you click course calendar, here is a uh, visual, uh, a visual, a visual tool for uh, looking ahead <laughs> and knowing how to prioritize your, your, your efforts uh, based on the uh, you know the, the closest deadline so do prioritize your efforts in that fashion <clears throat> so yeah uh, so stay tuned for uh, another video on uh, this intertextuality lesson which is what we will be uh, covering for this week <laughs> All right, guys, so um, stay safe and be well, and don't give in to the panic. Um, and uh, thank you for having a good attitude and good spirit, and uh, keep doing your thing. I'm proud of you all. <laughs>